a $5 super chat here from JP Spin, who says, fail safe problem with a new build on 4.3, pulling the module or powering off the TX keeps the motors keep running. From disarmed, the motors start running. Whoo! Okay, so if the motors start running when you're disarmed, uh, first of all, don't put props on that quad, for God's sake. Okay? Don't put props on that quad. <laughs> okay. Um, I guess the first thing I would think about doing is we're going to go, hang on, I'm going to start up beta flight. And if we go into the fail safe tab, if you, let's say you have an aux, uh, uh, your fail safe is on aux one, okay? And so in the fail safe tab, you configure aux one set 2000, okay? At that point, when you fail safe, aux one is gonna go to armed. Does that mean it's going to stay armed? Surely Betaflight's smarter than that. Right? Surely Betaflight knows, like, they, Betaflight will know that you're fail-safed and will ignore that. Right? Chat? Am I crazy here? Surely they'll ignore that. Uh, let's assume that Betaflight is smart enough to not, uh, <laughs> let you, like, set failsafe to force the quad to arm. Now, that John Goblin points out that's stage one failsafe only. It'll only last for 1.5 seconds, and then it'll go to stage two. That's a really good point, John Goblin. Um, do you have GPS rescue enabled? No, you're pulling the module, though. I'm assuming you're, like, arming it on the bench. And GPS rescue would not cause the motors to start spinning if you were disarmed. What could cause the motors to start spinning when you're disarmed? The thing is, in order for that to happen, the flight controller cannot know that you're in failsafe. As soon as the flight controller knows that you're in failsafe, it's going to just cut everything off. So for the motors to start spinning at when you remove the module, I think your receiver is set up wrong. For example, uh, you can set most receivers, instead of going into failsafe, they can do what's called fixed, fixed channel positions. And if somehow you set your receiver up that way, then your receiver, when you go into failsafe, would not tell the flight controller that it was in failsafe. Instead, it would output uh, pre-programmed signals. So JP Spin, I would want to know what kind of receiver you got because that's that's what we're going to need to know to troubleshoot this any further. That's a that's a weird one. I I don't think you're going to get in that situation easily by accident. That's a really far out one. JP Spin, thank you for a five dollar super chat. Uh, I'm using Crossfire. My older quads on older firmware act as expected. Could this be a crossfire issue? Until I get this sorted, it's grounded. JP Spin has made the assumption that I'm going to remember what the old problem was. Oh, I do. I was able to look it up in the search history. Um, <laughs> a failsafe problem with a new build. Yeah, so if you're using crossfire, if you're using crossfire in the crossfire receiver, you need to make sure that the failsafe mode is set to cut. If it is not set to cut, that could cause this problem. That's why I wanted to know what, what uh, receiver you were using. So JP Spin, go into the Crossfire Lua script, go into the Nano RX section of the menu, and I think it's in general, the general menu, and look for failsafe mode and make sure it is set to cut. <laughs> 